Good morning everybody, Park Rat Pat here. I got Kimberly with me this morning. morning. We're on a quick hunt out here, then she's gonna run to the airport, pick up some family. Always great to spend time with family. Speaking of family, guess who's a member of the Park Rat Rat Pack All now? All right. Membership has its privileges, welcome to the family. But we got something else to add to this. That's right, you know the park rat. I'm always working on something. Got things wheeling around in my brain. That's what that rat does. He just runs in circles and thinks. So, in keeping with my ever-changing designs, we have designed a new park rat hat. And this will be the base design for the stickers as well. Kimberly, you get the first one of these ever. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Cool. I don't know if you're a hat chick or not, I but I it's hats. yours. Alrighty, we're going to gear up. We're at a great old property. Plenty of killer things have been found here. Maybe today's our day. We'll see you at the first hole. Yeah, high on the backside sounding looks like some type of old electrical clip or shunt or something like that if anybody's got an idea about this please let us know down in the comments and I'm back so researching out on this property is found an area that looks like it might be a, a dump site the way the stuff's coming out of there but it's not one I want to dig because it's in a roadway so we're gonna cover that one back up and leave it alone. All right, looks like Kimberly's got a key on the day. That is cool. Let me put on my young eyes here. Ooh, I love being able to zoom with two hands. What's that? A1053. All right, if anybody guessed A1053, you are the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> That's right, no prize. All right, well, I am working on a signal down here. I'll get back to that after Kimberly came over and asked me if I could clean this up, take a look at it. And uh, by the time I got it cleaned up, she'd gone back to digging. This she dug up. Look at how decorative that is. Some type of strap guide, uh, possibly lingerie. The thing's beautiful. It is. It's got a couple of tabs over here. So, you know, it was meant to be some kind of buckle, and you would think that would have gone this way. A little flowery look to it right there in the front. If somebody knows anything more about this, say so down in the comments, but awesome relic found. Yeah, nothing special yet today. Got this piece out of the way just now. Time for a Sody Fizz break. Then we'll move on. Alrighty, back at the Super app for my Sody Fizz break, and uh, on the way over here, swung a signal, sounded weird. Big old chunk of copper pipe attached to a big old chunk of iron. Uh, that's got some writing on it there, but I can't see it with my bar naked eyes. So uh, I'll examine it later. If it's anything special, I'll let you know. All right, see you after the break. All right, well, here we go. I've been moving on, getting a lot of junk. Got my best target of the day so far. This unfired 22 bullet at about five inches. Pretty cool. All right, throw that one in the pouch for safety. <laughs> On to the next one. I finally got a coin. Let's take a look. Had a perfect unwavering 17 right there and I went for it. And uh, there it is, sitting on the end of the clump there. Cluster, clod, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay. No, it's a penny. I thought it was a dime. But yeah, it looks like a looks like a memorial. Alrighty, let me brush this up and uh, if it's anything special I'll let you know. And we're back. <laughs> Alrighty, there she is cleaned up. It's a nineteen sixty two copper. That's right, a beauty that falls in the silver range. Let's see what we come up with next. 
Now I came about five feet away from where I found that uh, 1962 penny. Just going to work my way around this old, old tree here. And uh, down there I got a great signal. Another memorial. And this one. Let's see, let's see. 77. Dudes. It's a park rat penny. Awesome. Love that year. Okay, top pocket for that one. I will see you at the next hole. Well, not quite a penny, but definitely a nice chunk of copper. Don't know what it was for. It might clean up better later. Awesome stuff. Going in a pouch. Well, okay, I must be getting onto a good area of the property because window aluminums. <laughs> and window aluminums means people. All right. All right, we about to take a little sody fizz break here. Just got a nice signal down there. That's a piece of copper I can be happy with. Oh yeah, <laughs> going in the pouch. We'll see you after the break. All right, everybody. Kimberly comes over to put this in her truck and I'm like, what'd you get? She's like, oh, I got a bike's bicycle chain. And I'm like, oh, let's look at it. Okay, this thing's a beauty right here. I don't think I've ever seen a bicycle lock like that. That's, that's a super old lock. Anybody knows anything about that or can point us in the right direction to look it up, please say so down in the comments. Awesome stuff. Great find. Cool. Thanks. All right. Well, just down there, I got this little, I don't know, faceplate or something or something, but it seems to have a little pattern down the front of it there. Maybe it'll clean up better later. Nothing special. All right. Into pouch. Okay, here's another piece of that same stuff. We're zooming in on it before it dries out. Let's see if uh, whatever little decorative pattern shows through better. But, all right, in the pouch. All right, everybody, it is time for a mid-video wrap-up. Um, Kimberly has to get on out of here, and I don't have enough footage, so we'll be adding this to another video. Wait to see what comes up with next. Her stuff, man, that cool lock on this old bike chain. I'd love to see that thing cleaned up. Couple electrical plates. Definitely got her fair share of the scrap metals. That toilet float ball was really cool. Uh, that was one she drank. <laughs> and she got this big, like, bathtub drain or sink drain. I think this would have been a sink drain. You know, with a the sink would have been built right in there. That is absolutely cool. For cooler stuff, I think that's part of a trivet. I remember Dennis or um, Wayne finding one that looked like that and might have been missing a piece. A nice little strip of lead, a cool key shell, the lockdown for one of those odd tarp pieces we usually get. I think the best find is really this thing. Uh, it's got a little jagged teeth on it there, so it's some sort of strap guide or buckle, but uh. Very ornate looking on the underside here, where the tabs point up and all. And this side also ha has its fair share of, you know, beauty. But awesome stuff. All right. She's got to get rolling. You'll see me in the next little hunt we'll add to the end of this video. All right. Good morning, everybody. I was going to do a second part to this video. Um, I had to take a day off, do some stuff with the dog, get her to the vet, make sure all of her annual stuff is done. So she's good to go. We're ready to travel around with the dog now. And I was going to get out today and add more to the video, but today it is Snoop Dogg's favorite weather. That's right. Drizzle, faux shizzle. So park rats stuck inside. Um, fortunately, Kimberly was able to get back out to that property that we were hunting on. It's a, a public place. That not a lot of people know about and I am happy to announce she got her first silver dime ever a 1917 mercury dime so I think she's like two years away from getting a barber but I mean absolutely awesome and she's like amazed she's like it's a, we hunted that area before and I'm like everybody's hunted that area before that was meant for you never forget that no matter how long it takes no matter how how many people have gone through an area you're going to get what god wants you to get and sometime over a hundred years ago somebody dropped that dime it was meant just for her 
And I wish I'd been there when she'd gotten it, but it is so cool that she did. You just got to keep swinging, you got to keep digging, and never forget that you're only one hole away from a really good day. All right, God bless everybody. We're going to wait out the weather. I'll catch you in the next full video. Until then, like, comment, subscribe. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one.